Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to make LED rings for your car. The result we're aiming for is the one you see on the screen. I won't go into too much detail, otherwise this video will be too long for you to watch. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below. First up, we need to create one of these steel rings. You create one of these by pushing a sheet of metal through two metal rollers, like you see here on the picture. But the first one I did was made of aluminum and was hand bent, so it's not really round, but it still worked as a prototype. Alright, let's start cracking. What we have here is a normal 16 inch rim. We have some weights that we have to take in consideration. We have some up here, and we have some down here, and we have to consider that the rim also becomes narrower the more to the outside we go. If we measure across on the big gap, there's 39 centimeters. And if we measure the inside radius, we have 18 centimeters. Now, as you can see, I've already made a ring and it fits snug. Now there's, there's a small margin on each side. And since I live in Sweden, we use two sets of tires. We have one for winter and one for summer. So that means my winter tires will be smaller than these other ones on the picture. When the rings are mounted, there will be a little bit more space. Now if you measure the outer diameter, we get 35 centimeters, like 13 and 3 quarters of an inch. And if we measure the inner diameter, we get 33 centimeters or 13 inches, almost exactly. Alright, next up are brackets. These one I made very simply, which is buying a thicker sheet of aluminum and I cut them into pieces that I measured behind my brake disc and my brake shield so no they weren't too long or too short I bent this into triangular and L shapes and as you can see here on the picture I've mounted the L shapes on the ring and before you mount them you have to make sure that you go out to the car and measure where you can put these brackets so you don't put them into your brake shield and there's something blocking it Next up is a can of paint, or maybe two. Next up, we need some rubber gloves. And we need some epoxy. And a very long LED strip, five meters actually. Now we're gonna glue the LED strip onto the ring and make sure you have your wires all fixed already. Then we hang them up and let the epoxy cure for the night. When all set and dry, we test them out, see that everything works. As you see here, I've hooked them up to a Bluetooth controller. Now it's time to install them. Now how you actually get them on is not a universal thing. However, you need to take off your tires. And as you see here, there's enough room for me to not take off the brake disc as well. Then you have to pull the cables through the car from the LED rings. I recommend securing them with plastic strips or some kind of steel wire that doesn't rust. Here you can see I've hooked it up to my telephone through the Bluetooth interface and I can change to whatever color I wish. I can also make it flash in different patterns as well. Alright, final step is to put your tire back right on. And you can also see where I put my screws in the brake shield to hold the LED ring in place. Now by day it doesn't look that beautiful but you don't notice it that much. And by night time, well, you'll just have to see. You left my spirit with you high is all I'm feeling. Remember how we felt alive. I remember you. You make me stronger. Can go without it much longer. Remember, remember. I remember.
your breath, you fill up my lungs. Yeah. And if my mind were 